master tools and software to automate your workflow. Hey everybody, it's Austin here. Um, I've currently found myself obsessed uh, with automating my workload. Um, I found myself researching and building out systems that actually help me day to day and increase my overall productivity. And uh, it's made my life a little bit easier. So I figured I'd share in this video a breakdown of all the different technologies I use on a daily day basis. And hopefully you can use some of these to help automate your workflow in some way. Uh, to start, I've built out this table of contents uh, for you to reference to see what we will be talking about in this video. Uh, we will be addressing uh, macros, uh, some software, some hardware, and as a bonus, I will talk a little bit about a uh, Python library that I use to automate more custom solutions uh, that you really can't get uh, from you know products that are currently on the market. Macros. To be honest, uh, this has been my most welcomed change to my workflow. Uh, the importance of using macro keys uh, should not be understated. Um, I've found myself using a Stream Deck and the Better Touch Tool software um, as my primary macro keys, um, and I've been extremely delighted with both options. Um, the real game changer in helping automate my workflow uh, with these two options has been how they offer a GUI interface for mapping keys easily. Um, the mapping process offers an impressive amount of features outside just the normal key bindings. Uh, the biggest strength is how they automatically open up different profiles based on the application being used. Uh, the visual buttons uh, makes remembering strange key combinations for specific application shortcuts a problem of the past. Um, and the more impressive uh, feat is how you can layer multiple tasks on top of each other to create a whole automated task. For example, as a programmer for me to connect and update code on a production server um, I've been working on, I need to basically SSH uh, via the IP address uh, cd dot dot slash uh, cd dot dot slash homes, uh, apps, env, uh, source, uh, spenv, bin activate, cd dot dot slash, cd django uh, cd the app name uh, git pull uh, original master um, put in my github username put in my github password uh, and then basically restart the server um, sadly uh, for work i found myself running through these commands multiple times a day uh, so with both options um, i was able to easily create a button um, when clicked would run through all of these commands and complete the task saving me a lot of time um, this is just one example, uh, but the options and configurations uh, you can set up with macros uh, to achieve are really endless. Um, as stated, these macros are very similar to one another. However, the biggest difference is hardware versus software. Um, if you're using a MacBook Pro with a touch bar, um, I'd highly suggest uh, the better touch tools as the best option. Um, the Stream Deck is still an amazing option, uh, but uh, you need to have it plugged in via USB cord. And I really would rather not have that connected to my laptop all the time. However, for a desktop setup or a streaming focused user, I'd highly recommend the Stream Deck because it offers a few more options. Um, now, you can uh, test out the Better Touch tool for 45 days for free um, and pick it up for only $20. Alternatively, the Stream Deck is currently selling on Amazon for $130 um, and I'd highly suggest doing a little bit more research on both options. Now let's jump into some cool software. Um, Evernote is a free-ish uh, tool uh, that allows you to easily create notes, uh, bookmark uh, pages, screenshot, record audio or video, and organize everything within notebooks and keyword searches uh, to filter out your results. Um, so really simple concept, uh, but as a programmer, I find this invaluable uh, for my workflow. Um, as I'm constantly jumping between Stack Overflow, documentations, and other sites, uh, with a quick way to bookmark and assign keywords to each, uh, you know, I guess section that I want to reference, um, it's easy for me uh, to really get the importance of the information uh, rather than running around in circles trying to remember solutions uh, to problems uh, 
that I've already referenced in the past. Uh, this tool is currently uh, what is keeping my documents and my thoughts organized, um, and it has helped me stay accountable and productive by cleaning up my workflow. Um, in order to get the full effects of Evernote, um, I'd recommend you download it um, onto your web browser, uh, your computer, and your phone and or tablet if you have one of those too. Uh, with all of them interconnecting, um, it will give you an amazing hub for note taking between all your devices. Um, as stated, you can download this tool for free. However, there are some options to upgrade for a monthly subscription fee, uh, though it is not really required uh, depending on what your needs really are. Hardware. So the latest hardware I've been using is this portable monitor and a NAS server. Uh, focusing just on the portable monitor, um, I recently picked up this X Trend Touch 15.6 uh, inch portable monitor. Uh, with a USB C cable, I'm able to connect to it uh, with my computer, providing extra screen uh, while uh, working on the go, uh, which has been really helpful. Um, another way I found myself using this tool is as another standalone computer, thanks to my phone, which offers Samsung DeX. Uh, basically, by plugging my phone into the monitor, um, my phone activates a computer mode that allows me to set up multiple windows and use my phone as a computer with a trackpad. Um, the x Touch um, supports uh, touch screen capabilities, uh, so I've been using that in conjunction with my Samsung DeX uh, to basically turn turn my phone into an iPad. Um, originally, I ordered the popular LaPau portable monitor, um, but was disappointed after having two break on me within the first week of using it. Um, eventually, um, that drove me into uh, this X Trend Touch, um, and after investing $290, I can honestly say I am happy with this product and think spending a little bit more on the touchscreen capabilities is worth it if you're planning on using Samsung DeX. Now to this Synology NAS server, um, an interesting product that has given me my own cloud computer at home that connects via my Wi-Fi. Uh, depending on your needs, this may or may not be a priority, uh, but for me, um, I struggle uh, with space on my computer and with making videos, uh, finishing websites, and building online products for clients, um, I need a safe place to house all my data without overloading uh, my limited space on my computer, uh, which led me to this NAS server. Um, I was able to set up a RAID configuration, um, easily allowing me to copy my data uh, between two hard drives making sure my data would always be secure and safely backed up. Um, however, I found uh, the real strength of the Synology um, is out of the box uh, with how amazing this server's GUI is uh, for navigating and controlling your NAS with ease. Um, connected uh, to the Wi-Fi, you are easily able to use the server to fetch or push files uh, from all of your devices. Um, you can download apps uh, that allow you to host websites uh, from your server or set up uh, with a VPN or proxy. Um, alternatively, you can use it as a media hub, and with most smart TVs supporting Plex, uh, you can easily connect most uh, TVs via Wi-Fi, um, allowing you to watch videos, listen to music, or pictures directly from your NAS. Um, and you can easily pick one up uh, for different options. They range in price, but between uh, you know investing like $300, $600, or you can even go up to a few thousand dollars, depending on how large of a NAS server you are looking to get. Uh, but the Synology ones are highly recommended uh, just because of the ease of use that comes with their GUI um, and how easy it is for you to get using it without any NAS prior experience. Now for our, our automation uh, bonus section. Uh, Solidium is a powerful Python library that allows you to automate online browser scripts uh, with an easy learning curve um, in relation to programming. Um, I'd highly suggest just learning the basics of Solidium uh, because like I said, it really isn't all that hard uh, to learn. Um, and it can save you countless amounts of time uh, within many different areas of your workflow. Uh, for example, um, I needed to add over 50,000 companies into our database. Uh, 
record the name, the symbol, the exchange, and the company description. Uh, realistically, uh, this task would have taken me days to complete uh, for any regular person. However, with Solidium, I was easily able to create a task that went through the process of individually adding each company uh, with the automated software, saving me days worth of time um, and just letting the script run in the background. So um, if Solidium sounds interesting, um, I have a beginner's tutorial uh, to help teach you uh, the basics uh, through building an advertising tool uh, where we will be basically building out a Craigslist uh, real estate listing bot. Um, and it will automate the listing of creating these listings uh, for you know a real estate property. Um, so anyway, like I said, uh, that will be in the ending uh, citation. So you guys can check that out or look in the description and you can get to the link to that video tutorial. Uh, but it was the last one that I just put out. Um, so there we have it. Um, if you are um, interested in a more focused tutorial on any of the software and tools highlighted in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And I'm more than happy to kind of dive more in depth and kind of show you how I have them all configured um, or we can explain it more. Uh, but this was really just a over the gloss of really what, what I've really been using recently and how it has kind of really helped me out and to give you guys a starting point to really dive more into. Um, so um, if you have any other automated tools or software that I miss uh, that you think that would be really helpful for my workflow, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I'm always looking to add and help automate my workflow and make my life a little bit easier. Um, and I think that that's something we should constantly keep trying to do uh, because it's amazing the new tools that are coming out there uh, that we really aren't taking advantage of that could really be helping us out in the long run. Um, so anyway, uh, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, and if you guys want more weekly tech or programming tutorials, uh, please uh, subscribe down below and check out some of my other videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.